Only Newcastle have got through. That's the main thing tonight. One nil winners over Bournemouth. First of all, let's start with the starting eleven because that was a strong side tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was impressive the side he put out. That's that's what you want to see. And it was always going to be a tough game. But I think we spoke about that before the after the Chelsea game last time. It was you know it was good to have this game as an extra game. You know before the league season kicks back, we've had the friendly. You know, friendlies are broad, also just kick around jollies. We had the friendly on Saturday, which is a workout, wasn't the best quality friendly. And tonight it was, wasn't the best quality game, was it? To be fair, but um, they got through. That's all that matters in the cup. And um, you know, it's extra, you know, an extra game, you know, extra f match fitness, and that's what they needed. Like desperately needed. And it was, you know, below par performance, but it was against a, a stubborn. Like it was just a carbon copy of the league game, really, wasn't it? Where they spoiler tactics, um, wasting time and. It was just a nothing game, you know. You mentioned the fact that there was a few moans and groans around around you, wasn't there? That it was only one. You know, I mean, we took a while to break the deadlock, but like you said, Bournemouth came out literally just to probably take the penalties, didn't they? It's, it's almost. I mean, you, you think about the start of the seasons. You know, like it, it was a slow half against Forest, the first game of the season. It's almost like it's a pre-season, wasn't it? We're just we're coming back. He hasn't had players to work with. Uh, they've been away. Or it's been disjointed. They've had a bit of a holiday. Um, it was always going to be a tough game. Just I think it's just it was all about winning, you know. It was always going to be attritional. I mean, Bournemouth organised, you know, 11 at the back pretty much for most of the game. And then they looked actually slightly dangerous when they did actually try and attack. But we looked a little bit shaky at the back, you know, it looked like we hadn't been um, together for a while. But it didn't matter, we scraped, scraped through, you know. I mean, it was a, a lucky break to get the goal, I guess, wasn't it? In, in the own goal. I didn't see it properly from the Gallagher. No, no, it was a yeah, very lucky goal, a very own goal that kind of just got over the line. But Newcastle all into the last eight. Quarter final stages now. We'll wait with anticipation of that. John, we mentioned off camera, there's a few teams there that have went out. You know, you're only looking at Man City, who play Liverpool, or Man United, who play Burnley. Apart from that, all the big guns are out. No Tottenham, no Chelsea, no Arsenal. Exactly, but you, you know, we could have lost tonight, uh, or could have went to penalties. You've got to beat what's in front of you. Um, everyone's going to be desperate to try and win. They're going to be thinking the same thing. You know, they're going to be thinking these big teams aren't in there. Newcastle have had a great season, they've only lost one game, but teams would rather play Newcastle probably on paper than play these teams you know so the teams are going to be desperate you're going to have that extra adrenaline as they get. that's why the stronger side went out today I think because you know like early doors you sort of hedge your bets a bit don't you mm. you sort of say that the old cliche like that team should have been good enough to win and they normally lost and then in the past but today you want to make sure that he got the job done and um, you know it's great you didn't want to go to penalties it's a lottery and it would have been a signal tonight I think to be honest after you know having that break and coming back and if we'd lost today hadn't progressed it would have been we left a you know, a nasty taste in the mouth, wasn't it? But I think, you know, going well, happy, you know, three games away, well, four if you can close the double leg one, but, you know, could get to Wembley, it's, it's a possibility. None of these shitty protocols where, you know, we'll forfeit the cups under the old regime, it's gone, you know, it's like people are it's, we're selling out on a midweek game, you know, and it's, there's hope there, and it might be the hope that kills you, but at the end of the day, it's the hope that keeps you here, you know, and it's getting the full packed stadiums, you know. Never mind winning the trophy. How realistic is it that Newcastle can make Wembley? The only two games away from it now. Would you would you take that as a priority over over how well the I league positions I mean, go? I, I don't like people saying priorities. Why not every game a priority? You know, you take Eddie Howard. I hopefully would say you take each game as it comes. And you try and win the next game. None of this like prioritise the cup and you know what's all that bollocks about? You know, like, we're going to hopefully sign some players in January. You know, just Shearer used to play against every game. There's FC Talon away and would already qualified in the Europa Cup. He'd play. You know, on this shit, like, oh, I need a rest. That was just for the 206, though, wasn't it? That's for the goal well, score Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> that's it. But someone else should be striving for records, man, you know, yeah, yeah. and set some records. I mean, it's like, that, you know, if they win any, this team could create a legacy. The first, like, especially Eddie Howe, the first manager that's going to win something in the modern era, it's going to be fantastic, isn't it? I mean, this, the City, I'd take anything, you know. The League Cup would be a great start. So what Mourinho, the sort of manager is like Mourinho, always try and nail down a cup first. And then it takes a little bit of pressure off them. You know, you buy yourself a bit more time. Um, I think, is it possible that we could have a great season? We could finish top four, could win a cup. It's a possibility, but we've got to not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, we could have not got through today. So, one game at a time, but let's just, you know, dare to dream still, though. Dare to dream, I guess. Right, cheers, Annie. Merry Christmas, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks for me. Cheers. cheers